Good morning, princess. You're a good girl. She's not impressed. She thinks I'm going to lunge her, and she'll be right. me dream. Oh, oh dear grumpy girl. Good morning. Welcome to another one of my too fat to ride vlogs where me and Hope are on a diet and a bit of a fitness program to try and get some of this weight off. And if you're on a journey similar to this, then why not do it with us too? So as you've already seen, Hope is not in the best of moods today. She's really not enjoying the new routine. She's not impressed with lunging well i've stopped doing it every day we're definitely not doing it every day now she's just getting too sour about it we've been going about oh, three or four times a week i did actually try and get her saddle on her this week to do some lunging but well as you can see that doesn't really well it's not going to happen anytime soon so I love reading all of your messages and seeing what suggestions you've got for me. And the main suggestion was all about this here. And if you don't know what that is, it is indeed a grass muzzle. <sighs> I'm not going to lie to you. She don't like these things. And the last one I put on her, she ate the bottom out of. So... I don't hold up much hope for this one. Plus, I swear these three are like a little team and they help each other get their rugs off and their fly masks off and other random things. So, hmm, hopefully Dream won't spot it straight away and take it off her. So, I've also had my weigh-in this week and I've lost another three and a half pounds. Three and a half pounds. That's incredible. So I've now lost 15 pounds, which is one stone and one pound. I definitely feel better in myself. I feel like I can move more and, well, I can climb up stuff. And I know that probably sounds a bit random, but climbing over gates and climbing over random things and up the mats and stuff. So, yeah. That has been a bit of a revelation, but I do really feel a lot better in myself. So today I'm going to be fitting this thing. There are a few things that you should really take into consideration if you are going to be putting a grass muzzle on a pony or a horse, because it's safety fast. This one is actually a field safe one. So it's got Velcro. I don't like leaving head collars on in the field to be quite honest i know that some of you have to it's like a necessity if you've got one that you just can't catch <sighs> yeah but velcro velcro for the win don't be hope hope so she is looking 
well she's definitely looking a lot thinner there's baby dream always involved lots of getting it to everything but yeah hope is definitely looking a lot thinner which is great and i've noticed a few muscles coming up on her legs she's just so incredibly grumpy at the moment and i reckon this thing is gonna make her feel even more grumpy so a grass muzzle needs to be fitted correctly and you need something with quite a strong base especially if you've got one like hope where she just well she can just eat through these things especially if they're just the nylon ones i did have a bit of a hybrid mask that i made a few years back have no idea where that's gone where she did eat the bottom of one of these and then i just added a field safe one to the bottom which is like a harder plastic so if that happens to this one i'll probably have to do the same so we have oh dear me she's definitely not happy about this already but we have this oh, it's got all these extra plasticky bits on i don't want her to run off which she will if given the chance right then so first things first put the bucket on it's got some nice padding around the ears good gap you need a good two centimetre gap all the way around the muzzle so you can really fit your hands down there. You have to make sure that they can open their mouth properly and that they could breathe properly. There we go, can take this off. Oh dear hope. You have to make sure that there's a good one to two centimetre gap between the muzzle and her nose and a good gap all the way round of a good one to two centimetres to try and help with rubbing. So you need to make sure that your grass is long enough to go through the holes at the bottom because that's actually what they're going to be eating. Mm, she doesn't look happy at all, does she? Not at all. A grass muzzle can actually restrict grass intake by up to 70% and it is a really useful tool to help horses that tend to put weight on like Hope does over the summer months and it's great for horses that are at risk of laminitis. Grass muzzles don't stop a horse from eating, they just restrict the amount of grass that they can eat. Guidance set out by the National Equine Welfare Council recommends that they keep a muzzle on for up to 10 hours a day. Any more than that is a little bit excessive and definitely don't keep them in a grass muzzle 24 hours a day. You should also check your grazing muzzle every day literally check it daily because oh anything could happen the fit could change obviously with your horse losing weight and make sure if you've got your horse in a field with other horses especially if they're not your own horses and maybe it's a new herd you should always make sure that they're still okay with having their muzzle on because they like to give each other little scratches and nuzzles and they can't do that with a grass muzzle on. Oh dear, it's such a hard, a hard thing to put them through, isn't it? And it's all well and good me coming along and saying, right then, I've decided I'm too fat and you're too fat, Hope. So we've got to go on a diet. It's all well and good me doing that. 
but she doesn't think that this is in her best interests. No, she definitely does not want to lose any weight. She is perfectly happy with the weight that she is and going about her business every day as fat, fat 10 year old Hope. Are you not happy, Dopey? You're not happy? I definitely think I'm gonna have to get you one of the big plastic ones. I think you'd be happier in that one. He's taken him out completely on his own, bless him. with me but I can't hold the two of them not when we're out like this because Toby really plays up he likes to pull he likes to be in front oh come on <laughs> <laughs> 